What up, Boxing World? It's Boxing Vibes TV coming right back at you, bringing the best analysis on YouTube, Spotify, Stitcher, you name it. We're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. I'm going to introduce the crew. We got JD. Uh-huh. Eight one tray all day. Hey, we, we, we're we down a man. Q can't make it, but we got a special guest for y'all. We got mm -hmm. Michael, the bounty hunter, Jr. So let's go ahead and skip the pleasantries. Go ahead and fire some questions for my man, JD. All right, man, so we're going to jump right into it, man. We're not going to hold you too long. We're very appreciative, man. We know you're prepping for a fight, and so I know your time is extremely valuable. So I, we usually like to start off going back into the amateur career because you can't get to the point you are right now without first laying the foundation with an amateur career. So I know you were a part of the 2008 Olympic squad and the 2012 Olympic squad. They had lots of people from Wilder, to Clarissa Shields on the 2012, Errol Spence, all of them. So you, I'm sure you peers with all of them. So, That's right. So tell me, at this point, what is it that is in you that keeps you going to persevere to get to the top of the mountain in that heavyweight division? Because when I look at, at you as a fighter, you've definitely been doing your thing for a long time. At this point, it's, what, probably over a decade? just in the sport overall. So what keeps you going uh, to keep persevering to try to, to get to the mountaintop? Well, I think um, the main thing is it has a lot to do with my father passing away, um, you know, and uh, me basically committing to that this was something I was going to, uh, you know, seek out until it's all over, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I ain't got no, I'm in no rush. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm here to the end, you feel me? So... <laughs> Right. That, that, that's awesome, man. Now, I know that at one point you were with Matchroom uh, Boxing. Um, mm -hmm. Now you're now with Triller. So what do you see? I know you're not looking past your current opponent, but who would you like after this first initial Triller fight as a name that will really make the world know Michael Hunter? What, what's the name that you would have in mind you know, kind of once you get past this first trailer fight. Well, it's really, it's really, uh, it's really hard to say, but, uh, you know, any of these big fights, I mean, right now, you know, the, 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 the main three are all tied up, but right. anybody else on those levels, um, you know, with the, for the right amount, of, you know, for the right amount of prize, it's, it's on and cracking. Right. Now, what do you think, um, what do you think Triller provides you as a heavyweight that's going to be different in boxing to kind of shake you up as far as your career and give you more visibility and put you up on that platform? Well, one thing is I think I'm, I'm ahead of the curve when it comes to, you know, if they really are going to put um, some time and effort into, you know, mm -hmm. promoting and actually doing boxing, uh, you know, I'm I'm basically they they guy right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They heavyweight fighter. You know what I'm saying? They don't got nobody else in the stable. I know they got like Regis Progray, mm -hmm. um, a couple other guys um, that they they working with. But uh, that's just a, a open window for me to shine into. You know, uh, in Matchroom, you know they already had you know a plethora of fighters, Anthony Joshua right, and stuff right. like that. Mm -hmm. uh, top rank already got uh, you know Tyson Fury. You know. Um, um, Deontay Wilder with PBC, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> which I was with, with them at, at some point too. I've already had a relationship with Al Heyman and them. So, uh, you know, for them to be able to uh, trailer for them to be able to open the door and give me the opportunity to uh, to let them know I'm a household name is a easy. That's a, that was an easy uh, easy jump for me. So, in a way, you're actually kind of for the trailer company. You're a trailblazer. You're you're their very first heavyweight. That that's they right. have out of stable, so that, that's pretty dope. I like that trailblazer. All right, most <laughs> def. Well, go go ahead, Jay Box. You got some questions? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The mo most definitely. We got a heavyweight in front of us. We got to ask some heavyweight shit. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? <laughs> so, 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 I know you've seen the recent news. Um, fight just got made. Uh, Fury Wilder. I, I I want your opinion on. What do you expect to see in the third fight? Just because, and I'll, I'll give you background why I'm asking. I, after I saw the first fight, I always thought it was iffy with the first fight. The second fight, we were talking and I said, I think Fury's going to get a knockout. But I think the third fight, we're going to see the best Deontay Wilder we'll ever see. So I'm interested to see what a heavyweight who's probably sparred with Deontay Wilder on the, in the Olympics, 
Um, I don't know if you had any sparring experience with Fury, but I, I'm pretty sure you, you're behind the scenes with the Shakers. Week. Oh, you sparred with Fury last week? Yeah, I was just sparring with him, um, yeah, a week or two. Right before he left to uh, go to Florida, he out of Vegas. I'm from Vegas. So we worked oh, okay. a little bit. That's okay, that's not, what I, I wasn't like in his camp or nothing. He just was, uh, you know, he's in the same city, so. Oh yeah, I got some work in. Oh, okay. Yeah, so how yeah. do you see how do you see that trilogy fight playing out? Having experience uh, with both guys. Yeah, I think I think uh, Deontay has something to prove. Uh, I think that uh, Tyson's been training though. You know, training for for quite some time. Uh, you know, he's been getting ready for you know Anthony Joshua or whoever. So I think that it's going to be a clash. I don't think it's going to be a dominant performance like he did the first one, but I think he's going to win by the split decision. I, I kind of agree with you there that we're going to see, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, I guess the best come out of Deontay Wilder, but it's still going to be a little short. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm gonna get. In, I, I heard a little something that Joshua tried to bring you into uh, his his camp to spar. Is that true? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, see, like, when I sparred with um, Tyson, I, like I said, I wasn't getting paid or nothing. Um, yeah. But they were trying to, like, you know, take me in for sparring and, you know, just the way they did it. They didn't, uh, like, uh, let me know that it was Anthony Joshua originally or something like that. Oh, or who the, <laughs> whoa, whoa, or the original. <laughs> yeah, or, or we didn't know the manager. It was just kind of a weird thing. And then we found out, like, who exactly who they who it was. And then I was just like, why would they hide it? Like, why wouldn't you say that in the beginning? You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, so that's, I don't that's... know if they were trying to mess with the pay or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I don't know. I, I, was I, kind look, of weird. So, so let me ask you a question. It seems sound kind of like a setup. So right. Well, I, right. when, you, when you said that, in my mind, it thought like, okay, we're going to gauge him out and, and see where he's really at and then to see whether we want to fight him or not. Because that, you, that, was my, that was exactly my take on it. They wanted to see my tenacity. They want to see how I sleep. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? How I wake up in the morning, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, which is a very, very big thing uh, when it comes to fighting, you know what I'm saying? Your energy, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, they want to see how lively you are, you know what I'm saying? So uh, for me to do that and go to somebody else's camp was, you know, I mean, like right now, I'm, I'm at home, you know what I'm saying? He come right, down right. here, he come down to Vegas, please believe me, I'll probably press his issue, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, right, um, right. Yeah, so they just... Like, um, they they try to get one over him, but okay. So so let me ask you a question. You are uh, a heavyweight, like so many that have made the jump from cruiserweight to heavyweight, right? Um, they've cre- WBC has created a new division. I don't know when it's going to pop off the bridge weight mm-hmm. division. You did mention earlier about one of the re- one of the driving forces um, behind you pursuing um, a title and, and to no end is you know the situation with your father. Is is bridge weight something you would consider? Just because we, we were talking to the IBO president and he was actually full throated behind it. Like, yeah, I love this because guys are so big now. We had an interview with Riddick Bo um, uh, two days ago mm-hmm. and he's like, nah, the heavyweights should be heavyweights. And then Fred Kendo, when we interviewed him, he was all for it. So as an active fighter right now, um, go fighting, if you want the title, it has to go through these giants. Is, this, is the bridge away something that you're interested in? I saw the rankings, and the only former heavyweight that I know of namesake is Brian Jennings that they have ranked. So they still, you guys are still heavyweights. Yeah. Still heavyweight. So what do you think about the bridge away division, and would you ever consider uh, fighting in the bridge away division? You know, I, I have, a, you know, back and forth ways about it, but, um, you know, eventually, you know, ultimately I want to be the heavyweight champion of the world. Right. Period. Right. You know, so that would be something that, like you said, a bridge or weight, something I would be bridging over to heavyweight. <laughs> to heavyweight. Right, 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 right. Uh, that, and I mean, that's the bottom line. I mean, I wouldn't, it would be cool to get another title. Uh, the dudes that I seen that on, on there that were re- uh, ranked was, um, that looked like light work. So uh, yeah. that would have been oh, easy. Hey, 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 you saying Yusuke saying music, music would be light work? <laughs> uh, was he on there? No, no, he wasn't on there. No, no, he, he wasn't. Was was they signed. But, yeah. but that that would have been. I didn't see him on there, but that would have been a decent little fight. But all uh-huh. the rest of the people I seen uh, on there was uh, was like, I was like, okay, this is it. I could easily win this and very uh-huh. very quickly, and then just gotta get up out of there. So, uh, you know, if it's an avenue, um, but I wouldn't, you know, the WBC sometimes is kind of uh, you know, 
they they play a lot of different games and they change a lot of different things and they add and take from and add to. So it's very hard. Like if, if they were just going to give me a title shot right away, um, then I, because the thing is, is, I don't want it to mess up my heavyweight ranking. Now right. I'm pushed out right. in the heavyweights, you know, but the bridge weight, the weight class, the good thing is that I'm, I'm that weight class no matter what. I'm not right. going to get no no bigger or no smaller, really, you know. So mm -hmm. 